Hey everybody, John Adolfi here. Welcome to another one of our HUD homes located at 225 West 4th Street in the city of Oswego. Here's the lay of the land and that's Utica Street right up there. And here we go. Yeah. Three bedroom, bath and a half. 1,206 square feet, built in 1905. Let's see about going around the back here. What do we got here? Vinyl siding? Yep, we got vinyl siding, just needs to be cleaned. And we're gonna take a peek over the fence here into what is not the backyard. It's the other neighbor's backyard. All right, we'll look at the backyard as we go inside and, and check out the back door and we'll look at it that way. Okay, All right, here we walk go. into the house. Okay, got the laminate flooring going on here. And we got some Okay, just needs to be needs to be fixed. That can be fixed. You can skim coat that with sheetrock, mud, continue finishing the ceiling here. I see you got vinyl windows. I say window. I saw one. There's many. And the laminate flooring continues on into this room, which is your dining area, and they've got Berber carpeting in the dining area. It's not in, not in bad shape. Okay, here's, okay, that's already, that's where we just came from. And then they did an interesting paint job here in the kitchen, I see. That's not wallpaper, that's paint. And they've got an island here. It's a little bit claustrophobic, but it's uh, not bad as far as the amount of kitchen cabinets. Wow, they have packed a lot in here. And as far as being able to store stuff, incredible. I want you to kind of, I want to spend just a few extra moments taking this all in. All right, so uh, that's where your refrigerator would go. There's your sink, and that's where your stove would go, electric stove. I don't see a gas uh, pipe for it. Out the back here, oh, that's right, we're going to look at the backyard. But first, let's take a look at a nice took looking tub. There's an another artistic uh, flair to or design or style to the paint job they did here pedestal sink and they took the mirror out and the toilet has been removed okay and then the backyard small backyard look at this really teeny tiny just this the width of the house almost well you know what that means don't you it means that you're to mow the lawn like three minutes which is kind of cool all right let's head upstairs All right, not bad. I mean, things have been remodeled in this house, you know? Just need some, um, just some TLC, and I really mean TLC, not like extensive TLC, uh, in order to make this uh, sing and shine again. All right, this is the, the fuchsia room. You know, little things like that, you know? Doorknobs. <laughs> Got another bath, half bath. Yep, half bath here. Need some floor molding, you know, right there where the wall meets the floor. All the rooms need that. Just painted nicely here at one time, still nice. Needs a light fixture there. All right, let's head into the basement. All right, we're down in the basement. Got a concrete floor. Uh, this is where your hookups are for your washer and dryer. You got circuit breakers going on there, that's good. And the wiring looks pretty good as far as, you know, up, mostly updated, yep. And look at that furnace. That furnace is like new-er. Hot water tank, old-er. Well, look at the bottom. It looks like it's either rusting out or whatever. So you may want to have that replaced or at least looked at. All right, so we're done with this and you feel inspired? This one's not too bad, so give us a call. We'll share with you how you finance them, unless you're looking for something like to rent or flip or, and I'm not talking about you coming here to rent this, I'm talking about if you wanna buy it so you can rent it out. <laughs> and this is on the west side of Oswego, so those of you who wanna to cater to the uh, university crowd, call us, 695-6434, and just remember, as usual, real estate's awesome.